Earth, as far as we know, is the only planet that has life. No other life has been found so far apart from that on Earth. The existence of other life outside the Earth is still being debated. Some think that other lives exist, and some others think the opposite, that we are the only one. These two contradictory statements are called the Fermi Paradox. As the name implies, the Fermi Paradox was first proposed by a physicist, Enrico Fermi. In a conversation in 1950, the physicist Enrico Fermi asked if there are hundreds of millions of stars in the Milky Way, and some of them support life, where are they all? This question refers to the existence of intelligent life in the universe, given the potential number of stars and planets in our galaxy. With hundreds of millions of stars in the Milky Way galaxy, is it possible that only our star has inhabited planets? If there really is life other than that on Earth, but are there beings out there that we can talk to? What is the probability that a technologically advanced civilization is trying to communicate with us just as we are trying to contact them? Perhaps as we look up at the night sky, near one of those dim points of light is a planet where someone very different from us is gazing casually at the star. We call the sun and for a moment pondering some wild speculation. It's very hard to be sure there may be a major impediment to the evolution of a technological civilization. Planets may be rarer than we think. Perhaps the origin of life was not as easy as laboratory experiments suggest. Perhaps the evolution of high-level life forms is less likely. Or complex life forms may have evolved, but an intelligent, technologically savvy society required a series of impossible coincidences just as the evolution of the human species depended on the extinction of the dinosaurs and then the primates that evolved into the intelligent civilization we know today. Or perhaps life arose repeatedly, inexorably, on countless planets in the Milky Way galaxy, but was generally unstable so that most of these civilizations, unable to sustain life, were plunged into a nuclear war that annihilated them. We could have explored this huge issue further and made a rough estimate for the number of advanced civilizations in the Milky Way galaxy. We define advanced civilizations as civilizations capable of radio astronomy. To calculate the number of advanced civilizations that can communicate by radio, we can calculate it with the Drake equation. This formula comes from Frank Drake of Cornell University. We define an advanced civilization with the symbol N. Then, the formula of N is as follows. Our star is the rate of formation of new stars in the Milky Way galaxy. The current ER star value is 7 stars per year. This means that every year there are 7 new stars are born. Then, FBI is the percentage of these stars that have planetary systems. The modern approximate value for FBI is about 0.5 or this means that half of all stars will have planets. Then, any is the average number of planets that can support life per star that has planets. The any e value is 2, or it can be interpreted that a star with a planet will have two planets capable of supporting life. Then, FL is the percentage of planets suitable for life, where life actually arose. The agreed FL value is 0.33, meaning that 33% of planets capable of supporting life will develop life. Whereas FEI is the percentage of planets with life where intelligent life forms can evolve. The estimate for the FY value is about 0.01, meaning that only 1% of the planet has life where there are intelligent beings that can evolve. Then, FC is the percentage of the planet that is inhabited by intelligent beings who have developed the technology to send signals into outer space. The estimate for the FC value is 1%. This means that only 1% of intelligent civilizations are capable of sending signals into outer space. Then, the last one is L, which is how long it takes for a civilization to send a signal into outer space. The approximate value of L is about 10,000 years. If we add up all the constants we have got, we get a number around 2.31. From these calculations, it follows that there are two contactable civilizations in our galaxy. This number is very small when compared to all the stars in the Milky Way galaxy. So at any given time, there are very few, 
only a few high technological civilizations existing in the Milky Way. Whereas if we are looking for other life that we have not been able to contact, we can omit the FC constant. Then we will get the number 231. However, these results are still very few when compared to the number of stars in the Milky Way, which reaches hundreds of millions of stars. Perhaps this is the reason why we have never met or even communicated with other extraterrestrial life. Or maybe we are the only life in the galaxy or even in the universe. It would make clear how rare living things are on our planet and would underscore the value of the individual human being more than anything else in human history. However, should we ever manage to meet or communicate with another civilization, our planet will change forever 